guys, I'm Annie with Explore Scientific, and usually Lucy is here with me, um, but she is not, she's MIA today, so it's just going to be I, just myself and I. Um, <laughs> so we're going to talk about um, some fun things for kids today. Um, I've got a couple of, uh, I've got a couple of fun little things that um, I pulled that I thought would be great for little hands. Um, you know, more of our, more, of t more geared towards little guys or gals, whatever. Um, so so let's get started. Let's see here. So the first thing I have is our bug habitat. And obviously we have this one set up. This one actually had a frog in it at one point um, that um, Paul or Rob catched. I can't remember. Um, uh, Rob caught it. So, um, but um, this is... No one, no one catched it. No one, no one caught it? No one catched it. No one catched it, uh, so so we caught it. Is that what you mean? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm from Arkansas. Just the way I talk. <laughs> Arkansas. 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 Okay, so this is our bug, bug habitat. It's it's for ages six and up. Of course, you know if you're if you're. Um, monitoring your children and things like that. It can also be used for younger children. The only concern is, is it, even with even with a six-year-old, is that be careful with bugs. Certain bugs they can be a little, they can hurt you. <laughs> so um, just make sure that you're um, identifying them before you before you pick up and things like that. So, um, but it has this is a land and water habitat. So you can put land items in it. Um, you know, frogs, uh, spiders, in, any type of insect. I think we had a centipede in one um, recently in the, in the studio. Um, so we. So you can put those in there, and of course we want, want you to release. So um, you can see from this, from the from the container that you can see on the on the outside, but it also has a magnifier on the on the top. It has a um, you can see two to two to two times to four times closer. There's the magnifier on the top of it, um, so you can look down inside and see those things close up. Um, it also comes with. A, another handheld magnifier and then another little tiny one in the center so you can see those those th those items that you're looking up really close flowers insects um, grass whatever it is that that your little guy is curious about you can be able to use that and, and magnify it it also comes with a net so you can catch things um, <clears throat> Like I said, this is a land and water habitat, so this would be great to like catch fish or or rocks or whatever it is in in the creek um, or river or whatever um, that you're at, and then be able to put those put those critters in there. You can also take this lid off if you're going to do water habitat. You could take this lid off, like so, and scoop scoop up the water and then be able to see what's in there and see what all kinds of fun things that you um, that you have I was um, I was uh, watching somebody's video the other day they gotten rid of some frogs or something and they went to go dump out the water and they had babies all over the place oh, no fish I'm sorry it was fish they had babies all in the water so that'd be kind of cool to be able to see you know tadpoles baby fish things like that in there um, and then, of course, has tweezers, so you can be able to pick up things. Be very careful when you're picking up when you're picking up uh, critters, because you just never know. You might accidentally squish them. Reminds me is of the video little... not working. Again yes, the video is working. Paul's got that video going for us. So um, well, I didn't know if you could see it. I can see it. There's our little frog. He's right there. Okay. He's super cute. We still haven't named him. Um, so you can you can catch a lot of things. You can see a lot of things it was in like this. Three years ago, he's probably dead. Three years. Let's not talk about it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, of course, it has the magnifier, so you can see things up close and per, uh, personal, or up close and up close and and um, personal and personal. And I'm sure they don't. I wonder if bugs don't like you getting in their business. You know, do, do they bugs have, like have a, business? Do you like it? Do you like it? You know, like how we have our own human bubbles. I wonder if insects have their own like bubble, like ah! Well. In humans, we don't eat the thing that's bothering us, but animals and bugs, they eat things that bother them. So do they, they have their own personal space, like bubble? That's what I'm saying. For a frog, I think mm -hmm. the personal space goes as far as he can hop. As far as he can hop. <laughs> so 
so anybody, I mean, a little, um, you know, one, a kiddo could carry this around with them when you're going on hiking, when you're going to the park, or, you know, even in your own backyard. Um, there's a lot of places, the beach, you can go to the beach and, and use this. So there's a lot of fun things to do with this land and water habitat. There's a lot of different things that you can see in nature and be a part of nature. The really cool Scoot thing about being left. out, uh, being out and um, being out and, and active in nature is Scoot that it left. Who left? You left. I stepped backwards. No, the product. Oh, the product left. Um, the, go uh, left. Oh, you want me to go left? This? I want the product this to go left. There you <gasps> go. I thought he was telling me I left like I left like bye bye I left. <sighs> Anyways, the really go the really cool thing about being out yeah. in nature and and now uh, you hit it again. Being at put it back where it was. What you did like this? Yeah, oh, people can see. I it. can see it now. Isn't it beautiful? It's not like that on this screen though over here. What's it's it actually like over way there? over to the left. What? Never mind. It's fixed. <laughs> you fixed it because you finally did what you're supposed to. Just Anyways, saying. so the back to my original statement, the great thing about being out in out in nature and being active with it is that it really does it changes your your mood and your um it just gives you a peace and calm and calmness so um and what a great way to explore with a kiddo um you know i have a i have a five-year-old and he's all the time looking at things ants and bugs and all kinds of stuff out out when we're going, even going into the house or, you know, going into a building or something like that. So, you know, sparking that creativity, that you excitement is really also, good. You can also use it like a fish tank. You can fill it up with water. You can do that. It's got the air holes on it. Yeah. Uh, if you want to catch crawfish, you can put yeah. some muddy water and rocks in there and catch some crawfish and throw them in yeah that would be cool so there's a lot of things that you can do with this because it's land and water so there's some really cool habitat. things. habitat what it's a habitat it's a habitat Hab yes but, but eventually you should let things go right you should let things go back to their lives right their families and maybe. their friends maybe and their depends wonderful on how many crawfish you got Craw crawfish is a big thing to collect here or to to hunt here in Arkansas. You get some crawfish. I when some I was younger, corn. I didn't. I, when I was younger, we, I didn't. I didn't uh, crawfish hunt. Well, I was in uh, Logan's. Uh huh. The meat restaurant where you go and eat steaks, and I'm walking in, and uh, there's there was this a crawdad. Cause, yeah, a, this crawdad. He's standing there. And he's got his hands straight up in the air and his claws open. And he's like, I'm going to get you. And I'm like, dude, you're like an inch and a half long. What the? Yeah. He's saying don't go in there and eat. I don't know. Maybe his brother Maybe. was in there for crawfish day. I don't know. They do actually eat crawfish here in, here in Arkansas. Oh, yeah. And Louisiana. And Louisiana and all those under wonderful states. Yes, that's very interesting. But we do not recommend using the water habitat, land and water habitat, to catch crawdads so you can eat them. I don't that's know. That's not Might something we want I mean, to do. I mean, it's a bucket. It is a bucket. It's but a it's clear for bucket. exploration, not for eating. I don't know. I mean, I really. It's multi use. <laughs> It's a multi-use item. It's a multi-use item. Okay, so this is our uh, adventure scope. Um, it's for ages six and up. I love this thing. I think it's amazing t uh, because I would absolutely love to see my son with this uh, looking underneath furniture. I need one for my car. <laughs> looking underneath the seats. I would, if I looked under the seats of my car, I'd be like, ah, I really need to clean under there. Um, but yeah, so just kind of being able to spy and look at things. Um, it has a um, it has a magnifier on it, obviously, and it has a light. So magnifier. now, my, now my batteries aren't going to work. Isn't that lovely? It's so, okay. <laughs> what did you say? I said it's okay. It's okay, but technical difficulties. So there's a light, a, an illuminated light on the front of this. Uh, I've got the B-roll rolling, so they oh, can see Oh, there you go. It. So there's the, there's the thing. Um, so you can. Um, 
Nancy? Um, so we, um, so you could you could shine this on the uh, shine this wherever you're looking and be able to see that it'll it'll light it up and then it'll display on the screen so you'll be able to see what you're looking at. Um, it does not record. Oh wait, there it goes. It came on. It does yep. not record, um, but it does. Um, but you can see everything with it. Like right now, not I'm looking, everything. Right now, I'm looking at the cameras. You can't see everything. What are you talking about? It's a camera. If you pointed it at a building, you could not see what's inside it unless you could look through the windows. Oh, it doesn't have x-ray vision, no. That's right. doesn't see everything. And I don't, I don't recommend using this to peep in a window. That's not very good either. <laughs> Or under a door. Or under a door. Or under a door. Anyway, so there's the screen. Let's see if I can. So there's the screen. You can see that it's. Hang on. Can you see cameras. it? There. Can you see that? Yeah. So there's that screen. You can see I'm looking at this, uh, looking at the packaging, and it, yeah. So it, but it doesn't record. The other cool thing about this is that you cannot, the battery won't die. That's why I thought it was funny that I thought that I thought the batteries were dead. But um, the, it takes a little longer because in order to make the in order to make the screen work and the light work, you have to hold down the the trigger on the back. So and then it comes on and you'll be able to start seeing with that. But if you let go of it, um, it turns right off. You can't you can't just leave it on, which is a typical thing with smaller children. Leave things right. on and the battery dies. So, um, Connor, you're asking. I was viewing Mars with a with an F6 8 inch Dobsonian, and it looked like a tiny disc. Would I need more focal length for Mars? Where is the all knowing Kent? I debated whether or not to give you that question. I know. Well, I see it, and I just don't. I don't quite know the answer. But if you um, um, I'm sure you have, I'm sure you have Kent's email. I think you probably do, but if you don't, um, call, we're on Amazon right now. So, uh, you can, uh, you can contact our Amazon guy and he'll be or able to. Or you can message us or message directly. Us, or message us directly. Through your preferred method. Yes, through your preferred method. And we'll be able to find that answer for you. I don't know it off the top of my head. I'm still new to this, um, new to telescopes and things like that. So that's what I would recommend doing. Um, let's see here. The next thing that I've got is our monocular. Or actually, actually, yeah, it's a monocular. It is a sky and adventure scope is what it's called. Um, it is just like a little miniature Galileo scope. Um, it has its own, this is a draw tube. So it has a draw tube. So the farther out you put it, the farther, um, the more you're gonna have to do a little bit more longer, uh, further viewing. So let's see here. If I can get it into focus. Uh, and the neat thing about this is you just pull it in and out and it'll get into focus. And now I can clearly see what Noah is doing over there. Quit spying on Noah. <laughs> and then I can see exactly what Paul is doing yeah. over there as well. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. He's doing I don't nothing. Do anything. <laughs> what did you say? So I don't do anything. He doesn't, doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Does not do it. No, I'm just kidding. No, he's a, he's a big help here. So um, you can yeah, see up to right. eight times. You can see up to eight times closer with this. You can actually see the moon. Um, you can also do some daytime viewing, looking at looking at uh, birds and things like that. Um, so there's a, there's a quite a few things that you can take out for take out for viewing. This is great for little hands, um, ages. I believe it's ages six and up. And so, um, with uh, combined with that nature, land, and water habitat, this would be a great little combo to have when you're out hiking, nature, or out in the park, or in your backyard, um, just looking and seeing things. Um, but yeah, so just a little miniature telescope to have. You can even take it out for nighttime viewing. So that brings me to my next thing, which I love. Do you? I do actually love this. So this is our uh, camo tent. I would. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna bring the box over, not that, because it'll yeah. take up the whole thing. So that's our camo. That's our camo we, hut. We don't have a camera operator to be able to. We don't have a camera operator to be able to move that. So, but it obviously you can see. For this, obviously you can see it's pretty good size. It has a door on this side, has a window on this side, okay. and a net and a net window on the back. Um, you're able I to. I have video for this. Do you? 
Yeah, let me see where it's at here. <gasps> He's got a video for this. Um, this we just is for, shot it not too long this ago. This is for ages three and up, and it's a quick and easy setup. Literally pops right up out of, out of the box, and then you can fold it up like you would a sunshade. Um, I know my son really loves this product. He likes uh. every time we come. Every time he comes here to work, he's always picking out out, out an Explore Hut, and so that's his favorite thing to come uh. and do here. So, I don't have video for that. He doesn't have one. video for this particular one, but this is really cool because you could take it out. Dad, blame it. And do some uh, do some nighttime viewing with it. It has that little window on this side that you could actually do some stargazing through um, with your little one. And um, we have some that are open on the top that would be great for stargazing at night as well. Um, but it's just a Got little comfy little area. Track. You can turn it to a reading nook, um, whatever you want to do with it. So. We have other ones which are pretty cool. Yes, we have quite a few different ones, see, um, right. and I think I think if you go over to our Amazon store, you probably see. can see the other ones. We have a like we have a rocket ship, we have a medieval castle, we have a, a princess castle, we have we have a lot of things, a lot of things. Look at those kids having fun. That's so sweet. Yay. Yeah, you can rock. Uh, look at the little reading nook. That's so cool. My car. Ah. <laughs> so much fun. Look how fun that is. So we have all these available on Amazon. Yeah, so we have a whole bunch of these on there. We have quite a few. Um, I I don't even, I'm more than 10, I think. Um, you know, we have all different Here. kinds. So if you go on Amazon, you can see our website and you can see all the different ones. <laughs> this is um, this is the camo hunt one that we have right now. So those are, are those, yeah, those are Kent's grandkids. That's. Our owner's niece. Yeah, so these are all these are all um, employees, um, family Big members. These kiddos that we have. So, um, of course, you know, they they enjoy it. Oh. They they absolutely love. Whose little girl was that? They have, look at the dog. <laughs> Even your dog will enjoy it. That's awesome. <laughs> they look like they're having a lot of fun. So yeah, so there's a there's a lot of different um, designs that we have. So um, that, you know, whatever your kids in, interested in, you could be able to get one of those and and have fun, and they'll have fun uh, playing in that and hiding out, hiding out kind of thing. So just a little quiet little place for them to go, or a place for them to bring their dog. There's a cupcake <laughs> truck. Yep, there's a cupcake truck. So yeah. So I highly recommend this. Um, if you got if you got small kids, three three and up, then I would then I would definitely um, then I would definitely purchase this. Um, great price. So over in the Amazon carousel, you'll be able to see that. Beverly, thank you for the shout out. I'm glad you're enjoying. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, all the way from Detroit. Wow. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I have is a little. Um, National Geographic. This is a tabletop telescope. Um, it is an NG50. It's a 50, it, an NG is National Geographic, 50 millimeter uh, telescope. Um, it comes with a 20 millimeter eyepiece and a 12.5 millimeter eyepiece. Um, again, great for little hands. Get an Explore Hut, stick this in it for a little guy, and you'll be able to see out the top of it easily and be able to see the moon or whatever. Um, you're looking at stars and things like that. So, um, comes with the diagonal. Um, Small, lightweight, comp compact, obviously. It's a tabletop telescope um, and has the focuser that you can focus in and out on. Um, lens cap. Don't ever look at the sun with this. That's the only, that's the only thing that we, that we tell everybody. You have to have special equipment for that. Um, and then um, it can see, it can see, it can even see birds and things like that, the moon. Um, so you take it out. Um, the great thing about here at Explore Scientific, we don't diminish our optics. So um, we it might have different coatings or something like that, but um, the same quality as even one of our higher end telescopes that we try to, you know, we try to keep that pretty comparable. So we don't have to do that. It has um, this has an 18 times uh, magnification and a 2.8. Or 20, 20 point eight uh, power. So it, it is a very strong telescope. Um, Fifty has a, millimeter, right? It's a 50 millimeter, so it has a small aperture, but you can still see really well with it. So um, look here. <clears throat> oh, do you have a video? Let's, let's let's see if this is the same one. Let's see. Ah. 
I like too, it has the cool constellations on the, on the telescope, so you can look at those constellations. Um, it's got a one? nice design with it. Let There's me see. A tripod, usually, that tells if it's the same one. Let me see. Oh, yep. Oh, this is the same telescope, but this is, but this is a different tripod. So this okay. is the same telescope on a, on a, on a standard size tripod. Um, that's the only difference, but the exact same telescope, um, same, same aperture, same uh, focal, focal length and magnification on it. Um, this is, uh, obviously, you can buy it with an, a, larger, a larger tripod, but this is for tabletop. So, you know, like I said, stick it in an explore hut for them to be able to look at the stars, um, set it on a table at night or something like that. Even sitting down on the ground, they could sit down on the ground and use it. So it's that great height for, um, for a little one. So this is ages six and up as well. Um, can see you. A really neat starter uh, telescope. So, um, if you have a, somebody that's interested in in the stars and the moon and stuff like that, um, get you one of these, and they'll be able to carry it around with them wherever they go. <laughs> have lots of fun. So, hey, if you're out there on Amazon World, I think that's what ca Kent calls it. Give us a shout out. We want to hear from you. Um, let us know you're out there watching. Um, and hey, actually, let us know what your favorite product is here at Explore Scientific. That's what I would like to hear. Okay, so moving on to the next thing. Since we've been talking about hiking and nature and things like that, I thought we, I would show our trekking poles. So this is our National Geographic trekking poles, hiking poles, whatever you want to call them. We call them trekking poles here. Um, they um, come, they're adjustable. I just dropped something. They're adjustable, so they, um, they're great for little guys or even adults. So, um, I know every, I think every kid in all of the world, like, ah. I know I pulled it all the way out. It's awful. It's it not says, broken. It says, stop. It's not broken. <laughs> it's not broken. I just slid, slid it back in and popped it back into place. Um, I think every little kid in all of the world likes to, um, look for rock or likes to get, um, sticks and walk with them sticks yeah sticks right is that right you think every kid in the world likes no. to get sticks see i did it again look at that you stop that <laughs> i'm seeing how far it goes so well, obviously <clears throat> further not as far as you want it to not as far as i want it to so it, it, it even gets, though it's as, almost <laughs> as tall as you i know i'm i'm just i'm five two <laughs> I'm just five two, so so I mean it's a really tall. It's a, can get really tall even for really tall guys um, and gals out there. Um, the cool thing I was just noticing is that um, <clears throat> I was having a hard time getting this bottom out. So there's a screw right here that I loosened. Let me unlock it and then I can loosen it. But there's a screw there that you can loosen and tighten, and you're able to slide slide this up and down a little easier, like so. So lock, lock it into place. You don't want it to have too have it high, and you obviously you don't want to have it too low. Yeah, you want to make kind it of where a it's eighty-five degree to eighty degree bend on your elbow. So it needs to be a little taller for you than this. Yeah, it needs to be just a touch taller. What if I think you should put it wherever you're comfortable with? Well, uh, it's you know there's he's doing mathematical right ways to do everything, right and then there's you know just obstinate ways i know well there is obstinate <laughs> ways yeah, so yes you right. want to have it where your arm is where your arm is comfortable um it has a it has a like a cork material on it so it's a good grip it that won't slip off your hand well um, if it's too high or if it's too low one obviously it'll affect balance but it could also uh it could also cut off some of the circulation to your hand if you're holding it there for too long just like typing that's, cor incorrectly that's very true he has a very so, good point he that's has a very why good we point. say that you also cannot um never mind <laughs> i was gonna say po poke people okay so the, the well, I mean, you uh, so can. this yeah it's it's, it's, it's not sharp it's not risk. sharp at the end i'm just teasing okay so the other it comes with a carrying bag so you can keep all of your items in there back them up so we can see it Huh? They're a little too far forward today. I'm too far forward? No, the items are too oh, far forward. Oh, very good. Did today. I move them back enough? Look in the screen. I can see. I can They're see. too far. I, can, I can't see them. I cannot. Now I can't see any of them. <laughs> I want to see you all. <laughs> 
This is awesome. I love it. What's wrong with you? Okay, so tell me which way. Backwards. Go back. Back like this? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Moss. Moss. More? More? See? Okay, hang on. I'm getting them all set up. The there director of all things. There. Can you see? 20 years experience versus this is your third time on camera. So oh, whatever. Not my third time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on here a lot, actually. Okay. So, Yay, uh, I can see them. <laughs> obviously, this trekking pole comes with a cu couple of different feet. It's got one for mud. It's got the regular tips on it. You just pop that sucker on, screw it on, and then you're ready to go. So you'll be able to be able That's not slip like and fall. That's for like wood floors. You think? That, why like would that. you have this on wood floors? Not everybody <laughs> uses those things outdoors. You think? You might need it. You think? If you went to the, if you were if you went to the Smithsonian, yeah, right, and you're spending all day there, but you needed something to kind of steady you, and you didn't want to carry a cane, you could use that. Well, I mean, you could. There's little rubber feet. I mean, you could actually. Yeah. But the, um, it's got snow snow feet, so you don't slip and fall in the snow. Like a snowshoe. A snowshoe. I don't know what this one is. Do you want this mud. one? Is? Oh, mud. Oh, this one's mud. Yeah. Hopefully you have good hiking shoes on if you're doing the mud. What is this one? Can't see. Uh, that's just extra footing for, like, rocks and stuff. So you've got many, many options to choose from. Because the poker is great. Huh? The poker is great, but only for bears. There, it, there, it is. It's, it's well because it has a certain tor uh, sort of attachment. Mind. I know I'm ignoring you. It has a certain Bears. sort of <laughs> has a certain sort of attachment on the bottom of it, so you're able to able to attach those, or you're able just to kind of get it into the ground, so you'll be able to not slip and fall. Yeah, uh, see, the spikes <laughs> would work terrible on granite rocks. Yeah. So that's what they have those little wide feet for. Oh, okay. Because, see, then you can grab a hold you of stuff. You can go like this. That's what he's doing. Yes. No, I'm doing this. You're well <laughs> wobbling like some kind of weird, out-of-date 20s dance or yeah. something. The other, the, other day, the other day, Wade and I were doing the... Uh, they were doing the pretending to be the the blow up the thing that you walk you know the wob the wobbly man that they always blow up and the man that waves you know with long arms. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? And car lots. I know. <laughs> anyway, Just um, weird so the other cool the other nice the other nice feature about these about these trekking poles is that they have straps on them so you so you can rest your hand um, you know you're not always having to hold grip on it so the so that can rest nicely on your hand and you won't have to won't have to be like squeezing it the whole time so that's a good that's a good that's also another nice feature um, these are great for little you know you you can they don't sink but they don't float so it's Oh, you like know, if you get in the creek, like if you're trying to get across the creek or something. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting to know. They don't sink, but they don't float. They it's don't sink, but they those, don't float. Because they're heavy on one end and they have cork on the other, so they just kind of. They just kind of bob. Do they just kind of bob there? Yeah. Kinda? Uh, yeah. Something like that. We should throw them in the creek and see exactly what they're gonna do. And then see if you can lose your trekking pole, like you would lose a flip flop in the river. Right. So, anyways, so the carrying bag got the other trekking, got two trekking poles. You could even, if you wanted to save a little money, buy one, and and then you'll then you'll buy one set, and then you'll have one for you and one for a spouse, or one for a child, or one for your significant bears. other, or whatever. One for bears. You could use it as a blind stick. Bears. Bears. Oh my. <laughs> Lions and tigers and bears. Lions and, oh, I just dropped my cut. That's awful. Okay. What is that from? Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Yeah. That is from um, the Wizard of Oz. No. Yeah. I don't think so. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. That's from that's from the Wizard of Oz. Hmm. He's looking it up now. He doesn't believe me. Okay, this is our three times LED magnifier. Um, it is. It is. I take a, there you go. It is for ages six and up. What? 1939. 
Lions and tigers and bears. Tyler did not. D Tyler did not put the batteries in correctly, so I have to kind of. I need to unscrew it and put them in there right. But um, it's working. <laughs> what did you say? It's working. It is. No, I just kind of tapped it just a little. Um, well, so it has it has LED lights on it, so you uh, bright. They're bright LED lights, so you're able to see things at night or you know in shadowed areas, dark areas, whatever you're wanting to see and look up, look whatever. at close to. So whatever, it might be a shadow, it might be, and you might be in a cave. What if you're in a cave and you see something and you want to look at it closer? Well, you take the stick <laughs> and you take that just in case it's a bear. <laughs> you are really on bears today. Did you get attacked by a bear over the weekend, Paul? N no, I looked in the mirror and um, realized I'm just I, yeah, a Yeah, and then he, he got scared, and then he did get attacked by a bear. <laughs> Okay, so it has it has these bright lights, so you're able to see things um, in dark areas. Like I was saying, the other cool thing is it has this little dark, little light, uh, blue light. So at night, if you're if you're looking at something that you know might it might not really like that bright light, you could be able to use that as well and be able to see things. Um, do, see do, see do. things a little differently. Um, three times, uh, you can see things up to three times see, closer. Look at that. Look huh? at the video on the screen. What? He has what? a video. See, backlight. Mmm. Bug. The bee! You know, if you look up here, you can see the live version. I know, I'm reading a, I'm reading a, I'm reading a thing. What? I'm reading a comment over here. Uh, somebody's asking what the standard mag magnification for that 50 millimeter telescope that I had was, was using earlier. Um, that telescope in particular, what is the magnification on it? Um, and they're just apologizing for asking. That's okay. That's okay for asking me again. Um, I just got here and I have an old telescope with a bezel of half. And replacement parts are just buy a new one. Thanks. Okay, so. Um, what? I'm just thinking. You want me to help you with it? Well, go get the box. No, I have the box. No, that's not what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of it might be different. I think it. I think it depends on the size of the. I think the magnification depends on the size of the OTA, doesn't it? The length of the OTA. So the magnification on this is 18 times and 28. Point eight times magnification. That's for this particular telescope. I don't know if that if that has depends on the focal length. The focal length on this is 360 millimeters. So it just depends on. I think I think it depends on your focal length how much your magnification is. Because like a 1900 millimeter uh, focal length on a Mac is it's got a really high magnification. So um, so if you can figure out the focal length on your telescope, then I think you might be able to figure out what the magnification is on that um wow on that telescope you have well at all. huh my my lower third is like blown up why is it you answered this before i did answer this before <laughs> paul is yelling at us through comments sorry about that i'm just teasing i'm just teasing Whatever. okay so um again back to our led led um there it is. There's the question. I finally there it got is. it to work. He had to get it. He had to get it. Wait, wait. It's still time. Oh, there it is. I would look on. Um, I don't know where you're at, uh, ZB Gameplay, but I would. Um, um, if I, I can't talk about working stuff, can I? Well, you can look on Amazon, and if you need help to find it, message us mm -hmm. through the Amazon app. Or your preferred contact there messaging app. And we, and we have quite a few people here that are very knowledgeable about older telescopes, so we might be able to assist you in some way. So I, I don't know. I'm not quite for sure. I can't promise anything, but we might be able to. So um, that's what I would recommend doing, what Paul just said to do. So, um, Is it so too anyways, difficult? Um, you're welcome. Okay, so back to back to the magnifier. Um, this is a three time. It's three times up and closer. Um, it has a carrying bag. It has the rubber grips, so you can't. So the so children can't drop it unless their hands are sticky. Then it's great. Okay. Um, <laughs> Which happens quite frequently. Okay, this is for ages six and up. Obviously, if you're if you're monitoring your children, you can also do a little younger. Um, my son, I got him one of these for the first time recently. Um, he um, 
he's great. He, he'll pick up something, I'll give him something, and he'll play with that for a really long time, and then all of a sudden he'll see his other new thing and he'll be like, what is this? And he just thought that was so much fun, uh, the magnification on it, being able to see things being able to see things uh, larger um, was really fun for him and so he went around looking at my face looking at the sofa and all kinds of fun things um, so a great thing for uh, for kids to be able to see things up close and personal and um, just see more details I mean th some insects are really tiny and I don't think we realize all the wonderful things that they have on them and so um, yeah see so look here yeah. So here, so here, yeah, there's the LED light. Oh, it went away. And there's the black light. See? Oh, there it is. Okay. And so, a bee. Yep. See, so you'll be able to see things. It's got, oh, it's got ultraviolet light. She has that ultraviolet, that tiny ultraviolet light right there. So you can see things like that at night. So it's really neat. And there's a bee. You can see a bee. So, so yeah, if you, if you combined all these things, the Explore Hut, the telescope, the land and water habitat, and a magnifying glass, and then possibly a pair of binoculars, you would have a great afternoon setup for your kid. Um, they would be outside exploring most of the day. You know, of course, you'd have to be out there with them. But, but I mean, what a great way for them to look at nature and be involved in that and be active with that, um, you know, getting their hands dirty, being able to play out, outside and things like that. So, um, I, you know, I would would recommend um, doing some things like that and getting a package package or something put together for them so they can just have like a little basket of play things to go outside and play with you can pair this with some other outside things chalk you know bubbles whatever and you'll have a great time outside with your kid um, spending time with them spending quality time with them so um, and learning about our world so um, I um, I highly recommend a lot of these things. My, ch my own children uh, play with them, and so um, they get really excited about them. And um, I don't know how much more time I have, Paul. Plenty. You got at least 15 minutes. 20 more minutes. No, I'm just kidding. 20 million more minutes. Almost. Almost 20 more minutes. Um, so yeah, if you're out there, if you if you're out there on Amazon Live, um, I'd like to know what your favorite product was. Um, maybe I could answer some questions. Give me a shout out. I'd love to hear from you. Um, that would, you know, we we are here to answer questions and be able. Well, to... Oh, you got the fun board. I don't have the fun board on me. Oh no. Will you? I don't have the fun board on me. Do you okay. have a fun board? I have a video for the fun board. Ooh, okay, so let's show the video of our fun board. This There's is our interactive fun board. Um, you can learn, you, it teaches uh, math, it teaches alphabet, it teaches um, drawing. Uh, See, it has I did pretty good adva drawing It has those. advanced drawing. That's it has me drawing. It has beginner drawing. It'll show you a picture and then you try to draw it. Um, it's it'll also make, me talking. Yeah, it'll, it has Paul talking. If you want Paul in your life all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, this is the way to do it. So uh, you can also do, it'll or say. Or you could just, you know, <laughs> call me. Does it say A is for Apple, B is for whatever? I think that's what it says. Um, it, you can t obviously show you how to do math. Oh, it says Apple. Apple. Oh, there you go. So um, we actually, I actually keep one of these <laughs> in my car for my son. Um, it, I have not charged mine in months. Um, we don't use the screen as much. The batteries lasted a really long time. I use it for uh, the restaurant or um, when we're in a doctor's office waiting or something like that. Um, and we There's usually pay, music. we usually pay pass and draw. So I'll draw something, he'll add to it. He'll draw something, I'll guess it or whatever. You know, just back and forth like that. Um, he really, really loves this toy so much that he actually, um, we had two birthday parties and he asked me to get it for his two friends. So that's how much he loves this toy. He, uh, this stem product he really enjoys it um, he loves to draw um, and uh, what a great thing to have around instead of markers and crowns and stuff like that because I'm sure I mean I have crown drawn on my door so I know the wonderful things <laughs> of crowns and markers and vehicles and at home and stuff like that so um, just a great great you tool to have around you don't have to use the the uh, interactive the active the screen you don't have to use a screen so you can just she's saying um, you don't have to listen to me if you, you don't, don't have to have Paul 24 hours a day seven days a week in your life um, so you can just draw on it um, it also has a locking button on the top of it, it so I igloo <laughs> it, uh, so it has a locking button a. Apple. 
is going to do that. Okay, so it has a locking button on the top of it. So, so be very aware because one time my son locked it and I could not erase the screen. I thought he broke it. It locks it. So if you're, you can still draw on it, but you cannot clear it. So make sure that that's locked or unlocked, whatever game you're playing or whatever. So if you're pay, playing like add to the picture, um, that would be a great feature to be able to lock that screen and hand it to your friend or your or your family member or whatever. You get the to CF400, the don't you? Is it back there? I have the CF400. He it's just on keeps the list asking me to pull. Today. I have all this product around me that nobody can see, and he just wants me to pull all of it. <laughs> you asked what you were going to do. I don't I'm know what I was going to do. I talked too fast. You have the CF400. I talked too fast. That's my problem. Nah. I had too much coffee before I came in here. Share with the class. <laughs> Share with the class. I, you drink soda, not coffee. I drink anything with massive amount of, of caffeine. caffeine. In it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I really don't care. Uh huh. Okay, this is our CF. Coffee is just a caffeine delivery device. Unless you're drinking decaffeinated. Then you're just wasting everyone's time. <laughs> And your own. <laughs> it's like a sad cup of coffee. Okay, so this is our 70 mil. This is a 70 millimeter refractor. This is our CF 700. 400. I'm sorry. It's our CF 7040 or 7400. No, CF 400. No, it's a 70 millimeter refractor, so it's got to be CF 70 something. 400. CF 70 400. Is that right? Mark out. I don't. I, I've got it listed as, listed as a CF four hundred. It's the Explore One CF four hundred. Oh, That's but what it's, it's, it's a seventy millimeter refractor with a four hundred yeah. uh, four hundred millimeter focal length. It's is what it's saying. Got a little bit different of a name than what you're used to because it's Explore One. Because he wants to make I things didn't crazy. Name it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I did not this has a panhandled uh, tripod on it. It goes left and right and up and down. Um, this is also good for young for young kids um, because it's it it's easy to use. It's um, it. it it's lightweight. You're able to get it out. Um, it's a little ver bigger version of the 50 millimeter I was showing, the tabletop uh, telescope I was showing. It's obviously 70 millimeters and and focal length. So. Um, there it is. I mean, I mean, aperture, 70 millimeters in aperture. So, um, so it's a little bigger. It's a little bit more light in. The more light you have, the more details you're going to see. So, um, the more you're going to see. So, yep. So you're right. CF 400, but it's a that one but it's a is, 70 millimeter. That one is a, such a, a decent telescope that there's a guy that has adapted one of those to be his spotting scope on his. Yeah, uh, professional yeah. uh, pro pro am telescope. Yeah. Telescope. Yeah. So he uses it for that. So that's what I meant by earlier, like our optics. We we don't we don't diminish our optics here. I mean, the coatings or whatever might be a little different, but the glass. Is, I mean, we try to we try to keep everything pretty comparable straight across the board. Um, you know, so um, so don't think. It comes think with a uh, the cell phone attachment. Because some cell 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 yes, and two eyepieces. Yeah, some, 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 some. and two eyepieces. A decent tripod with a little a little place there to hold all your eyepieces. Whose cell phone is that attached to that picture? That's mine. <gasps> My old one. I have a new one now. So yeah, um, adjustable tripod. You can go up and down. It has a pl has a tray to hold to hold um, any accessories that you have. Um, of course, the cell phone adapter on it, so you're able to take pictures through the eyepiece. And it's I think got it a comes decent with focuser. And it, yeah, I think it comes with two. What two eyepieces yeah. is, does it come with the nine point seven and the twenty five? It's about to say. Is it about to say? Maybe. Is you that say that. Better, two high end eyepieces, all dazzling mount, and a fully adjustable tripod. That's all I got for you. That's all you got for me. And it's this beautiful blue. Telescope is the right choice That's the other cool thing. You got you've got a telescope that's a beautiful blue color. Looks car. It's uh, it's See it's not car. It's um, not carbon this. fiber, but it it is car it is wrapped. So carbon like fiber wrapped. Yeah, it's carbon fiber well, wrapped. So it's got that sleek look on it. So. 
Um, ages 10 and up for this. Um, so as you can see, everything I showed today is um, six and under, about six and under, except for the trekking poles, obviously. Those have a higher age, age um, bracket on it. Um, but, I mean, you could still use them for a kiddo. Um, so that, that's kind of the point of this show is we want to be able to show you guys um, that you can also get your children involved in nature and outdoors and, you know, stargazing, whatever it is, just outside um, exploring our world. And so um, that's, the point of, that's the point of this episode. And so I hope that, um, that you, got, you got to see some pretty amazing things here. And um, if you, if you want to pick up any of these products, go ahead and go to Amazon Live. Uh, and Amazon. we're preempted today because our company has its on a platform that we're not allowed to talk about. Because it's Amazon's version of evil. <laughs> but we have the 100th star party. Glo our, our, our 100th st global star party yeah. is happening to today. Um, we started that whenever the pandemic happened. Um, so um, it's people from all over the world, um, ast astrophotographers, so astron about people in astronomies, and so people in astronomy yeah, and things right. like that. And so I'm talking, I mean, all over the world. So if no, you're interested so in that, we can get you that information. Since it's our 100th. Uh huh. Um, it's makes sense because we do one every week yes we do one every tuesday mm -hmm. but not every tuesday because scott sometimes is out well the majority of the time is tuesdays we normally have tuesdays scott our founder is uh, runs that and he get, and he heads it up and he uh, we're very here at explore scientific we are we are very much about education okay so we don't we just don't hand you a telescope it's hand you our products and walk and just and just say okay there you go we want to help you we want you to to succeed I had a, and so you so, know I had a dealing with a customer or not customer but a, uh, pr a company today mm -hmm. for the product that we have which is um, it plays videos through my switch right Okay. And I called them up, and I'm like, look, I'm having this problem. And they said, oh, you have to go to the forums. We're, I don't really, I can't really help you. You go to the forums and, and ask the question there, and people will come online and answer it. No, no worries about if they're experts or not, or if they have yeah. access to experts. They're just random people on yeah. the Internet answering questions in a forum. It's very suspect. But that's not what we do. You can go online and ask us any question you want, as we had one earlier from Yeah, uh, the Dobsonian, the Dobsonian gameplay. question, yeah. Yeah. And... We're very honest here. We will tell you, like, I, like I've only been in, I've only worked here for two years. Um, I knew nothing about. Has it about, been that long? Yeah, yes. I knew nothing about telescopes when I started here. I'd never touched one in my entire this, life. So um, you so, need to start learning more then oh gosh <laughs> there's what? a lot to learn here and i've learned a lot here um but um but um but the, the deal is is of course of course you know we have csrs that we need to train so if we don't know the answer to your question we're going to find it we don't well, scott, just let leave you scott our president if he if, if he's on air wherever he may be uh-huh you can ask him tough questions. He's oh, probably answer got you. answers yeah, to like 70% of it. Yeah. And if he doesn't know, he'll ask Jerry Hubble. Yeah. And Jerry Hubble, if he doesn't know, then Scott's got about four other people mm -hmm. that he can ask. Yeah, we always and that find, yeah, question we'll, will yeah. get answered. We, uh, you know, and, and it doesn't matter what product you have. We don't, we, um... <laughs> we, uh, like I said, we're about education. And if you have a question about a telescope that is not one of ours, yeah. hit, we Noah, had a guy, hit, hit Noah up and we'll, we'll figure well, it out for you. We had a guy bring uh, this off-brand Newtonian type telescope mm -hmm. in. You remember it sitting in the in Well, the we have one right now. Room. We yeah. have a we have a Dob we have a we have a different brand Dob in, in in quality assurance right now that's getting uh, cleaned and collimated. Yeah. And he brought it in, and Kent spent a good hour and a yeah. half to two hours out yeah. in the front trying to fix it for mm -hmm. him. He, he didn't even buy it from us. Yeah. 
So Again, we're here we to are help. about education we'll, we and care. we're about your success um, in this in this hobby. And so not just in not just in astronomy, but in science in general. Yeah. We have microscopes, we have binoculars, we have well, we uh, have some scopes. Really we, have we have tons and tons of product. We want to start from the ground up for little for kids, and that's the point of this show today but is to be able to to. Tie we also that. have some really high end microscopes. Mm hmm. Some super high end yeah. stuff. Yep. So. So well, we, we should we mm -hmm. should do a show on that one day. Maybe we should. Because it's super high end, and nobody they see them on the crime CSI, but they don't actually see those high end telescopes. Yeah. So yeah. it would be interesting to look at those, so that way we can figure out how much lie, how many lies those shows actually tell us. Yeah, yeah. That'd be so. interesting. All right. Um, I think that's all I have for you today. So um, Kent will be back tomorrow with uh, First Light Chronicles. And then Thursday will be focus, focus on, on astrophotography. No, that's Friday. Friday is focus on astro astrophotography. Correct. And Thursday um, is, is you. Yep. Explore Alliance Minutes. And so uh, Minutes. Check, us, check us out um, uh, on Amazon. And you we'll, maths um, people never can come up with good names. <laughs> Anyways. And then we'll, and if you have any questions or anything, hand them over to Noah. He'll get with us, and we'll be able to answer those questions for you. So um, I hope you guys have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you later on in the week. Bye.